everyone, welcome to my channel. You probably heard a lot of news recently about recession and economic downturn. The truth is we are experiencing slower economic activities and growth. If you're a business owner and entrepreneur, for some of you, you probably already experiencing sales decline, losing projects, staff shortage, the rising cost of materials and labors, you name it. Without further ado, let's have a look at the top tips on how to recession-proof your business. Or just do your best to write out the tough time until things get easier. Tip number one, open those books and know your numbers. Because every business is different and experience pinpoints in different ways, if you regularly review your accounts and your numbers, you will be in much better position to understand how your business is impacted by economic downturn. Do not wait until the end of financial year or fiscal year for your accountant to tell you whether you're earning money or are losing money. Otherwise, it will be too late to take any effective actions on things that are not working. If you understand your gross profit margin, net profit margin, break-even point, or even industrial-specific metrics, you will be able to understand what areas of the business need your attention and what strategies you need to adopt to improve the situation. For example, due to high inflation, everything costs so much more than before. If you pay attention to your weekly financial report or monthly financial report, you can quickly pick up the increase in direct cost or overheads, which is squeezing your profit margin. What you need to do is consider increasing your price, which in turn increase your sales and revenue. Alternatively, take a good look at your direct costs and overheads to see what expenses you can reduce or get rid of in order to achieve a desired profit margin. By the way, if you're interested in understanding numbers and financials, make sure to check out my other videos linked on the screen. Number two, take a good look at your products or services. If some of your products or services are not selling, because either you are selling to a market that is shrinking or you are selling to the people who have less disposable income due to the high cost of living at the moment. It's time to do a serious review on your product lines, product types, or type of services. Then you can eliminate the ones that are struggling and double down on promoting the most profitable products or services. Also, because the global logistic cost and lead time has increased significantly, some companies decided to stock up on their products. Knowing which product to stock up on is crucial. Otherwise, your cash will be tied up with products that are simply just not selling or are too slow to sell. As a result, very soon you will run into cash flow issues. Tip number three, addressing staff shortage problems. A lot of business owners are very aware of the staff shortage problems going on at the moment. They either can't find enough people to fill the jobs or the existing employees are asking more pay, more benefit without the necessary matching skills, experience or performance. It's a tricky one for business owners. If you already have a good team that is reliable and performing, lucky you. Make sure you look after your employees and lead them with good leadership skills and mindset. Build a strong company value and a good team culture. I know some of the small business owners like to argue that this kind of soft fluff doesn't really matter that much in real world. If you really think about it, everyone is human being who doesn't want to get paid fairly, treated with respect, and being supported towards their professional career goals. That's the reason why a lot of corporations spend big bucks on team building, culture shaping, creating a good environment for the employees to stay for the long haul. If you are lucky and you are still trying to find the right people for your team, make sure you have the right human resource strategies and process in place, such as where do you advertise? How often are you advertising? By the way, 
Don't ever put up the ad when you need more staff because it takes time to find the good ones. Have a solid interview processes to filter out the potential problematic candidates. If you still have problems to find good people, try to think outside the box. For example, offer extra cash incentives, getting other people to refer their families and friends, put up a social media post, um, going to career expos. Hopefully you can find some luck there. Carrying on from my previous point about the staff shortage, it is a common trend for business owners to cover unfulfilled positions or jobs on top of everything else, like admin, sales, marketing, customer services, or even some of the bookkeepings. Basically, it's a precursor for burnout. Burnout becomes such a common word these days it's good that people start to notice and acknowledge about it. Otherwise, there will be so many people having mental breakdowns, broken families, all kinds of unwanted social and financial consequences. I know what some of you are thinking right now. I won't have a burnout. I'm a tough girl or guy. Do you know how many burnout people are thinking exactly like you? Hmm. I just hang on a little longer and two things are getting better. Before you even know you're burning out, people around you has already started to notice your anger, depression, aggression. Don't do that to yourself and to your loved ones. If you want to achieve long-term success and remain happy and healthy instead of running yourself to the ground, you need to ask yourself some serious questions. Have I got a good system and a structure in place? Can I automate some of the processes? Do I have a robust system in place so I can delegate more? Can I use my negotiation skill to push back deadlines with clients so I can take 30 minutes to myself every day to breathe, to relax, to shut off? As a matter of fact, a lot of successful business owners and entrepreneurs are emphasizing on their lifestyle balance because they know they are in it for the long game. They prioritize some mind clearing meditation, walking in the nature, spend some fun time with families, um, do some intensive high intensity workout to rejuvenate their energy, their body, their soul, their mind so they can fill up their cups to fight another day. Number five, keep that cash flowing. I don't know whether you ever heard of this. Cash flow issue is one of the biggest business killers. I usually think sales is like oxygen to the business and cash flow is like blood. It's very noticeable lately. A lot of business are pushing back their payment dates because everyone is feeling the cash flow squeeze. You really need to make sure your data management process is keeping everything on track. What does that mean is having clear payment terms, scheduling follow-ups, giving out firm indication of sending unpaid invoices to debt collection agencies. Sometimes you just have to go ahead and do it and stop selling to customers who have unpaid invoices long past due dates. Meanwhile, try to negotiate with your suppliers to extend your payment terms. To make it short, you want to make sure that you're receiving money faster than you're paying money. It's never easy to run a business as an entrepreneur. The present time is particularly tough. Having a clear mindset and resilience will help you to go through it all. However, if you take a step back, what's the worst thing that could happen? Your business might fail. It will become too much to bear. However, failure is a necessary part of the learning process. You might learn valuable lessons this time around, and it will become a stepping stone for the next great things you will create. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Life is one big long journey. What's happening now is only a fraction of it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
please click like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate your support to build my channel. Also, turn on the notification bell. I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye.